I'm Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace here to tell you all about the Northern Lights. You may have heard that parts of the United States will be able to see the Northern Lights over the next couple of days. So let's talk about what auroras are and will we be able to see any? Well, you may have heard the term coronal mass ejection or CME, and this is a significant ejection of magnetic field and plasma from the Earth, and that plasma is made up of charged protons and electrons. Well, those particles work their way around Earth's magnetic field, which gets weaker at the poles, so that gives those particles an in into Earth's atmosphere. And as those particles make their way into the atmosphere, Atmosphere, they collide with molecules and depending on the molecules that those particles collide with depends on the colors that we're going to see. So if those particles collide with oxygen molecules above 200 kilometers, we'll see a red color. Blue colors are for those particles colliding with nitrogen molecules between 100 and 200 kilometers. The green auroras are those particles colliding again with oxygen molecules, but a little bit lower. And then the pink auroras auroras are those particles colliding with nitrogen molecules below 100 kilometers. Well, there's a scale. This is the geomagnetic storm impact scale. And with this particular storm, it's classified as severe. So we could see possible widespread power outages, but we also get to see the northern lights a little farther to the south. So some places in the south, like Alabama, have the chance to see the northern lights and parts of northern California. And we can also also put a number to the magnitude of these geomagnetic storms and that's the planetary K index number or KP number. So with this level of storm, this severe storm, we can typically see KP numbers around eight even up to nine. Well, what does that mean? Let's give you a visual. Notice this red line here. This is a KP number of nine. See how it dips down into parts of Northern California. So everywhere near and north of this line will have the chance to see the Northern Lights, even spots a little bit farther to the south. For us, we're a little bit too far to the south. With this particular storm tonight, we're seeing KP numbers around eight. So again, we're a little bit too far to the south. The storm gets a little bit weaker, but it's still going to be active for Saturday night with KP numbers around four, and then it weakens again for Sunday night with KP numbers below four. So unfortunately for us, we're a little bit too far south, but we can always enjoy others' photos.